Hello everyone, today I am using my air dry clay again, uh, the Daz, and uh, I'm going to make some buttons today. So let's just grab a little bit of clay, keep it all wrapped up so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, I'm just going to roll myself out a little bit. And you want to roll it out to whatever thickness you want your buttons to be. Um, so I think that will be okay. I'm going to take a lid that is the sort of size of the buttons that I want. If you've got a little proper cutter, that's great. I haven't. Just use what you've got. Um, actually, I think it might be worth, if I do, I'm going to use my flourish stamp first. Um, let's just pop that on there before we start cutting out. Get a good imprint. That's better. And then we'll just cut out our buttons. Very similar to how we did the um, the brad tops. I'm just going to cut out. In fact, it's exactly the same as the way we did the brads. So I'm just going to cut those out. But instead of putting one hole. I'm going to tidy up the ends, the edges, around the edges, just so that they look nice and, and neat. On the back as well. Just give them a bit of a tidy round. And then, um, you want to make some holes for your for your buttons. Try and get them fairly even. I just want two holes in my buttons. That looks okay. I can just tidy up the back of them. Like so. Just do that on all, th all of your buttons. Just do that on them and I'll be back. Once your, um, your little buttons are dry, you can, um, you could either paint them black and put some metallic accent on them, like I did with the, um, my brads and my um, beads. Or you can, I'm going to try painting these ones with some watercolour. So I've got some watercolour mixed up here. So I'm just going to add, add a little bit of watercolour to them. Just for a different effect. And a bit more water. So we get a different sort of look. You can paint them up really just to match whatever your project is. I haven't really got a project in mind for these ones so I'm just experimenting a little bit. And then I'll just leave those to dry. Stick them on a on a skewer and pop them on I've got a little thing here that I'm letting everything dry on. And then once your button is all dry, your paint's all dry, 
just add a little coat of varnish one or two coats depending on what kind of a finish you want you can use any anything that you've got to hand to varnish with um, I quite often use glossy accents but I've got this clear nail polish I'm using today um, or diamond glaze or acrylic um, varnish any kind of varnish really DIY if you know if you've got varnish left over from a DIY project anything like that just I just give it a little coat of varnish just to give it a bit more durability and I give it a nice shiny finish.